Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. If you like this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 4.1, chapter 4, principle of mathematical induction, question number 5 and 6. Question number 5, 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus so on up to n into 3 to the power n is equal to 2n minus 1 into 3 to the power n plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. This is our given um, mathematical statement. So now first let us prove this statement for n is equal to 1. So that is p of 1. On the left, uh, left hand side, we have to take the first term of the statement. The first term of the statement is 1 into 3. 1 into 3 is equal to right hand side. From the right hand side, take the entire term and replace the n value with 1. So that it becomes 2 into 1 minus 1 into 3 to the power 1 plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So that is, is equal to 2 minus 1, this becomes 3 square plus 3 divided by 4. Here we have 9 and 2 minus 1, that is 1, 1 into 3 square, that is 9, 9 plus 3 divided by 4. So 12 by 4, that is, is equal to 3. So now LHS is equal to RHS, that means we can say that the given statement is true for P of 1 or true for N is equal to 1. Next, the second step. In the second step, we make here the assumption. We take some positive integer k and we assume that the given statement is true for that positive integer. So, wherever you have n, replace that n with k. So, we get a new p of k statement as p of k 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus so on up to k into 3 to the power k is equal to 2k minus 1 into 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. Now let us make this one as statement 1. Now in the step 3 we have to prove that the statement is also true for p of k plus 1. Now, we need to write the statement in the form of p of k plus 1. This is for p of k. Next step is writing the statement for p of k plus 1. So, to write the statement for p of k plus 1, see here, if you see the p of k, this is for the k term. Next, we are writing the statement for k plus 1 term means you can take this much part. So, this much part I am writing as it is. Plus, after this, next term we have k plus 1. So, k plus 1 into, here we have 3 to the power k. The next term is k plus 1. So, 3, in, 3 to the power k plus 1 is equal to here. See, this is the statement for k term where we have k. Now, we are writing for k plus 1 term. So, wherever you have k, make that one as k plus 1. So, here on the right hand side, we get 2 into k plus 1 minus 1, this 1, then into 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 1, that is this 1, plus 3 divided by 4. So, this is our p of k plus 1. So, here we have to prove this part now. So, to prove this part, I take here the left hand side of this p of k plus 1 and here, see, on the left hand side, if you take this much part, this is nothing but our assumption, that is p of k. So, now I replace this much part with the right hand side of our assumption that is p of k 2k minus 1 into 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. Then plus the remaining value we have k plus 1 into 3 to the power k plus 1. And again here if you take the common denominator as 4 then we have here 2k minus 1 into 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 into k plus 1 into 3 to the power k plus 1 divided by 4. See now here, if you take this term, this term and this term, I have not taken this one. Here I am taking this term and this last term. Among these two terms, the common value is 3 to the power k plus 1. So that I am taking out. So 3 to the power k plus 1, if I take out here the remaining is 2k minus 1. Plus, here the remaining is 4 into k plus 1. Then we have this 3 plus 3. Next, again, if you simplify this one, 3 to the power k plus 1, here 2k minus 1 
this is 4k then this is 4 plus 3 again here this is 4k plus 2k that is 6k 4 minus 1 that is 3 so 3 to the power k plus 1 into 6k plus 3 plus 3 divided by 4 now here from this you can take 3 out here the 3 we have here so that value you can take out so 3 to the power k plus 1 if I take 3 out from this then 3 twos are 6 so 2k plus here the remaining is 1 plus 3 divided by 4 now see we have like this way here the base value is same that means you can add these two values these two exponent values you can add for example if you have a to the power m and a to the power n then we can write this one as a to the power m plus n so here also we have 3 to the power k plus 1 into 3 to the power 1 this is nothing but 1 right so if i add this then i get here 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 1 into the remaining value 2k plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 see now again this one I'm writing again 2k plus 1 into 3 to the power because we need to reach the right hand side of the p of k plus 1 so I'm writing in that form only just I'll bring this to this side 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 1 you can write in the form of k plus 1 term plus 3 divided by 4 then again see this 2k plus 1 here we need the answer 2k plus 1 minus 1 so that's why I got here 2k plus 1 so that's why to get that what I do is see this 2k plus 1 I can write as 2k plus 2 minus 1 right because my plus 2 and minus 1 that will give you 1 which is nothing but 2k plus 1 only so I will write this one in this form into 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 now if you take here from this among these two term if you take 2 out then 2 then the remaining value is k here and here the remaining value is 1 k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 to the power k plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 now this is in the form of p of k plus 1 right hand side see you can see that here p of k plus 1 right hand side this one and we reach to the right hand side value here so that means now here we have proved the statement for p of k plus 1 so now here we can say that the entire statement is true for all the set of natural numbers by using the principle of mathematical induction next here we will discuss the sixth problem the sixth problem is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus so on up to plus n into n plus 1 is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 3. So now let us take the given statement as p of n or p n. The first step is to prove the statement for n is equal to 1 that is p1. So from the left hand side I will consider the first term. Here we have the first term as 1 into 2 is equal to from the right hand side I will consider the entire term that is this one. Here wherever you have n replace that with 1 because we are checking for n is equal to 1. So 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 divided by 3. So that is equal to here we have 2 is equal to 2 into 3 divided by 3. So 2 is equal to this becomes 6 by 3 so 2 is equal to 2 so here LHS is equal to RHS that means we have proved that this particular statement is true for n is equal to 1 then next we have to follow the second step the second step is checking the statement for some positive integer k here we make the assumption that the statement is true for some positive integer k that means p of k so wherever you have n replace that value with k so we get a statement p of k statement as 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus so on up to k into k plus 1 is equal to k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by 3 now let us take this one as statement 1 next the third step is we have to prove the statement for p of k plus 1 by using the assumption of step 2. So to prove that first here we write the statement in the form of k of p of k plus 1. 
See, P of k plus 1 means here, we are talking about k plus 1 term. This is for k term. So, after this, we get the k plus 1 term, right? So, you can write this one as it is over here. And then after this, we have k plus 1 term means here you have k. So, this one you have to make as k plus 1. Here you have k. That you have to make as k plus 1 plus this one is equal to then on the right hand side see this is for the k term so we got here k everywhere now next i'm writing the statement for k plus one term that means wherever you have k that you have to make as k plus one so k plus one then this is k plus one plus one then this is into k plus one plus two divided by two so now this is the statement which we have to prove now so to prove this, what I do is I will take the left hand side of this P of K plus 1. That is this part I am taking. So 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 1 up to K into K plus 1 plus K plus 1 into K plus 1 plus 1. So here I will take this part. See here in this part, if I compare this one with the assumption here, this much part, this is nothing but our assumption, right? So I will replace this part with the assumption right hand side value that is k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by 3. So that I will make. So plus then we have this remaining value. Now here if you take the common denominator that is 3, then we get uh, the value like this way k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by 3 plus k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1. So now the common denominator is 3 then here this one become like this way and then here if you observe see we have k plus 1 k plus 2 here also we have k plus 1 k plus 2. So this one you can take out. So if I take here among these two terms k plus 1 and k plus 2 out here the remaining is k and here the remaining is 3 divided by 3. Now this you can write in the form of k plus 1 that is k plus 1 k plus 2 you can write as k plus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but k plus 2 only then this you can write as uh, k plus 1 plus 2 that is nothing but k plus 3 only and um, divided by 3 and see this is nothing but our uh, RHS we have to prove that uh, k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 k plus 1 plus 2 divided by 3 and we have reached to that RHS side so now therefore here we can say that p of k plus 1 is true when Whenever P of K is true. So by using the principle of mathematical induction now we have proved that the statement P of N is true for all the set of natural numbers. So this is about the solution. If you like this video please subscribe to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor to get more regular updates. Thanks for watching.